All right, hey guys, Adam here from Disc Golf 978. Today we're gonna to be doing my 2022 in the bag. I'm really excited about this. I'll be showing you the discs that I plan on throwing for the season, as well as a few accessories in the bag that I carry. I'll start with that. I'm gonna be carrying an Upper Park Rebel this season. It's my first year carrying it for a full season. I'm really looking forward to it. It's incredibly comfortable and it holds all my discs exactly the way I would want it. Um, as a forehand dominant player, you're gonna see that the majority of my discs are either drive, uh, drivers or fairway drivers with a bit of extra stability. Uh, I'm excited to go over with those, go over those with you all today. So, first of all, my two fastest long assistance drivers are the Grim and the Grim X from Castaplast Disc Golf. The Grim is my wide open air, big turnover disc. I can get this to go from right to left so I can fight those left hand facing holes as a non backhand player. The Grim X is essentially the same disc for me, except it has more stability and finish at the end. So I use it for big turnovers where I actually want the disc to come back a little bit towards the end. They definitely work the best in the more open air holes of New England, Maple Hill, the dam courses and things like that. Next, we move into my Zeus's. I carry a pair of Zeus's. They have a couple of different, um, you know, stages of wear to them. The Zeus for me is just a long, glidey, overstable driver. I can control this very well through the woods and that is really what I use it primarily for, is to get my long distance shots where I can also use a little bit of technical disc golf with it. The end of a Destroyer is a mainstay for me. The Destroyer is a counterpart to the Zeus where I just know that I have more stability and a little bit less glide with a disc like this. It's a little bit more for my pinpoint accuracy through the long distance shots in the woods. I really couldn't go without a Destroyer ever. Next, we move on to one of the newer additions to my bag is the Latitude 64 Grace. Um, you'll see soon that I'm a big Wraith thrower, but the Grace came into my bag as a glidier, longer option for me. If I need a little bit of extra distance and I have a little bit of more air to work with, the Grace has really become a must go to for me. Next, we come on to a pair of Wraiths. I throw a couple of different rates. They actually have so many different kinds over the, the years that the Wraith has been out now for 15 years. I like to throw this mini stamp one for a more overstable Wraith. This is a blunted nosed Wraith, which is a special run of rates from a few years ago. This is something that has to be in my bag. It's a long glide turnover Wraith where I can really trust it if I need something that'll move over for me quite a bit. Next, we move on to my Halo Thunderbird. Thunderbird is the kind of disc that you need if you play in the New England woods. The Thunderbird has the control to go as far as you need it to go, but also the reliability, it's a staple. I move on to a pair of my lesser known discs, which is the End of the Star Savant. The Savant is a counterpart to the Firebird for me. It holds Anheuser lines a lot longer, but still has the fade to come back towards the end. This is the kind of disc I can use when I'm in a pinch or in a bind out on the course and I need something to hold a technical line out where again, I'm not a backhand player. Sometimes I need to get a little bit, a little bit tricky and these discs really help me get out of jail. Move on to the Firebird. Firebird is essentially one of the most important discs in the bag for me. I carry a couple of different years of the Sexton Firebird. For those of you who are big Firebird throwers, you'll know the Sextons are longer and glidier than the typical Firebird, which is why I also carry a Champion. The Champion Firebird is there for you when you need guaranteed over stability with no turn at all. And then you can lean heavily on your Sexton Firebirds when you want a little bit of extra distance and a little bit of Anheuser Flex on your Firebirds. Move on to the Thought Space Votum. The Votum is one of my lower speed discs. I like to use it for low speed, really technical shots in the woods. You really have to put almost nothing on this disc to guarantee a very straight fight, uh, very straight flight with very minimal fade. Make sure you grab yourself one of these if you're looking for something that you have to put absolutely no power on to get a nice floating straight drive with. The Eagle for me is the disc I step down to when I'm falling somewhere between my mid-range discs and my Firebirds. It takes a couple of speeds um, off the Firebird, which really leads you to a much more controlled shot through the woods. The Eagle will hold the line as long as you ask it to, but will always fade for you in the end. For a lot of people, especially in the woods, this is the disc for you. We move on to my G-Star T-Bird Plus Mold. It's an older disc. Innova used to do plus molds instead of threes next to their molds. This added a little bit of stability to your typical T-Bird. But for me, what it actually does is it makes for a really big turnover disc. This is the disc I use when I'm trying to be backhanding, but I'm forehanding the disc. All I have to do is give this a nice Anheuser 
throw, I mean hyzer throw rather, and it flips right up and turns over all the way to the left-hand side. Move on to the Berg from Castaplast. The Berg is an incredibly unique disc. It has a thumb track, no speed and no glide. This disc is what I use for any approach shot, typically under 200 feet where I'm just trying to get towards the basket. Not necessarily the disc that I'm trying to cache from a good distance, but if I have a tricky approach to a basket and I'm afraid that I'll glide past, maybe it's a death shot or a rolling putt, the Berg is a disc where you only have to put on exactly as much power as you need. It will go that far and absolutely no further. I really couldn't play around without it. Make sure you grab one if you haven't tried it out. The Zone from Discraft is one of the few mid-ranges that I also bag. It is predictably overstable and glidey. I like to throw it on more Anheuser flex lines to get big S turns out of it, which finish. It's a much more effortless throw with an overstable mid-range than some of the more overstable things out there like you're about to see from me which for me is my Justice. The Justice is one of the most overstable mid-ranges on the market. I actually throw an older one that has a three glide to it, as well as one of the newer additions that has only one glide. These are both incredibly overstable, but very reliable mid-ranges for somebody like me. I throw them primarily on every single hole I play is usually the way I attack the chains when I'm anywhere outside of putting range. I boast over a hundred career throw-ins with the Justice. So for me, it's one of the most important discs in the bag that I know I can attack chains from. And then we move on to the putter. I'm going to be starting the 2022 season with the Thought Space Athletics Muse. This is a nerve plastic, which is just about the perfect feel of plastic. It's like a medium hard. It has a great flex to it, even in the cold, even in the warm. So far, I'm obsessed with them. The rounded edge and the no bead have really helped me out so far. I'm definitely not strict with my putters. I change them up a lot during the season, but I'm excited to head into the season with these and see what I can do. Lastly, I'll discuss my most important accessory in the bag right now is my Max Wax. Max Wax is a formed brick of beeswax and essential oil. Rubbing it on your hands just adds premium grip to any disc you're throwing. I have a lot of trouble with grip as a forehand player, both in the rain and the humidity. I will never play another round of disc golf without Max Wax. If you haven't tried it out, come down to the shop. We have it here with testing. And I a shout out to Ryan Gripley. He makes these amazing resin minis and I will definitely be bringing uh, butters into the season. I'm very excited for this. He makes really great minis that look cool on the course. So grab yourself one of these if you haven't. And that's my in the back for the 2022 season. I'm really looking forward to getting out there representing Disc Golf 978 who's gonna be supporting me this year. And I look forward to seeing y'all out there. Thank you so much. All right, so a couple of other things I like to carry in my bag. Obviously, I always have a package of hot hands. I'd say there's only half the year where we don't need these in New England. Snacks are a humongous important part. This bag holds plenty of them. A couple of protein waffles that we sell at the nutrition shop next door. That these have, um, you know, these have enough sugar and a little bit of energy to get you going during the round. Protein is important while you're playing the round. I actually have a bag of this uncured bacon jerky that is full of protein, and it is actually just a bag of sliced bacon. Uh, you can grab this next door, but I highly recommend it when you're playing, it's amazing. Towels are a huge part of the game. You'll never be able to look through my bag and not find about a million towels. The great thing about this Upper Park bag is it holds everything you need very effortlessly. You can load as much snacks, drinks, accessories through the whole bag. It has a rain fly that comes with it and the bag also just opens up and covers completely. So, I mean, you can protect yourself in any weather as well. It's really just a great versatile bag all the way around.